Hello there, good vibe soul. How are you doing today? You are very, very welcome here on our channel here today to spread love to the whole world. And it's a pleasure to be your host. I am Y311H. This one here is our audio for today, the microphone that you shall be using. These ones are my bunny friends. Straight out of Africa with lots of good vibes. Now, today we shall be reacting together to videos, my friend. And if it's your first time here, well, hit that subscribe button because you have been in need of good vibes so like yourself. Whom can be so helpful in our mission of spreading love to the whole world, peace, honesty, forgiveness, and good vibes. Now, if you have already done so, hit also that like button before you hear something that I have for you here. Something from some uh, good vibes book. Uh, let me find it. Uh -huh. So listen closely, my friend. This book, we call it The Guide of Life or The Book of Wisdom. And this is what it says today. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. Good vibes. First James, James 1 from 2. Now my friend, let's also give thanks to our creator before we dive in. Dear Lord Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, dear Lord, for your kindness and love. Thank you for your breath in us, Father. Thank you for your wonderful soul, Father, that has joined us today. All glory and honor belong unto you, Father. Dear Lord, as we react together to these videos, Father, guide us, help us to spread love, Father, and to spread our mission and our message to the whole world. Forgive us all our sins, Father, and guide us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Let's live in good vibes, sirs. You're telling me for 40 years mosquitoes don't like what? <laughs> Ain't no way. That they use vanilla extract for mosquito repellent. All right, so you just get a spray bottle. It's just got water in it. You get you some vanilla extract and it called for like 10 to 15 drops of this. Give her a little shake. Oh wow, it smells good. <laughs> like I just come out of the bakery. Let's go outside for a little while, see what happens. Mosquitoes love me. I must have a tasty skin. I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit, see if I get bit. I didn't get bit at all. Normally out here for this amount of time, I'd probably be bit 10 or 15 times. i will be smacking. I think it's calls for a cannonball. Kudus are the tallest antelope. We have two species of kudu in the antelope family, greater kudu and lesser kudu. Lesser kudu are found in Eastern Africa, while greater kudu are found in Eastern and Southern Africa. Uh, greater kudu are, the, are much bigger to compare with Laser kudu. Here at Save Wildlife, we have Greater Kudu. This is Tolu. Tolu and his wife Deborah. There. So males, as you can see, males they have horns, but females they don't have horns. Males they use the horns to for, for fighting with other males mm -hmm, in the breeding season to fight for female. But they can also use the horns as to protect themselves when predators approach them. Welcome to Savo Wildlife, where you can interact. Zero distance, you can feed them. These magnificent horns of Africa. Welcome to Savo Wildlife. Peace. Mermaid 
mermaid combs are very interesting. Um, mermaid combs are devices that are used to lure anyone into their territory. I call them devices because they're used in a particular way, like they're used in a special way. Now, if you come across a mermaid comb, you don't have to take it. You can just throw it back in the ocean and go about your way. If you do decide to take it, just know that there's a possibility that you could be hunted. You could be hunted by people or mermaids. However, mermaid devices um, really bring such substantial amount of wealth in your life, like including beauty. Like it enhances your beauty and it enhances your finances. Anything you want in life, a mermaid comb can, can give it to you. My grandmother would always tell me, if you want a mermaid to present a comb to you or present themselves to you, period, you have to give back. Like you have to give them something in return for their efforts. Um, the best thing to give them is like a gold coin. Uh, if it's not real, don't expect for them to do anything for you. Mermaids are a little bougie, yeah. I will put a few photos towards the end of this video just so you can have an idea on what mermaid combs look like. Mermaids are very hard to come by so if you don't approach them the right way for a comb or for them to present themselves, uh, they will not do so. Uh, they're very secretive and they know your intentions even before uh, you approach them. So you gotta be very mindful when you're asking for something from a mermaid. Uh, mermaids can be very very tricky so if they present a comb to you and you present something to them um, still be cautious because uh, they always have an ulterior motive all in all uh, mermaid combs are very substantial to someone's life it can bring wealth and it can bring high amounts of beauty Don't excuse yourself by saying, look, we didn't know. For God understands all hearts and he sees you. He who guards your soul knows you knew. He will repay all people as their actions deserve. Oh my God, look at this. Some good vibes guy came across this statue in the forest that is wooden but take a closer look at its eyes what looks like the eyes are alive man what type of statue is this hmm who do you think carved out this statue but it is uh, quite artistic my friends you see looks like the creature that carved it out is our uh, good vibes hmm see my rabbits here are full of good vibes also the bunnies but i'm surprised they don't like it uh, sometimes when i'm putting on these ear things this ones and they keep on removing them can tell us if you have a reason as to why anyway please leave your comments about this wooden stuff here hmm? this crazy statue with the unbelievably looking eyes okay but lots of trees must have been used to make out this thing you see oh my god it's a great fantastic artistic but now if you imagine the amount of uh, trees and wood that was used is crazy. Man has a close encounter with a group of aliens that landed in his backyard. Wow, this guy my friend must have been extremely shocked. But uh, he must be very courageous if he even went close to check them out in uh, such a close distance. Hmm? Would you have done this the one of so? <clears throat> in front of hundreds of people and they got it all on camera. Insane, Have you ever seen this guy do anything like this? Something's not adding up. Thanks for watching, as always, for so weird. Oil and water. If I asked you to come up with a creative way to remove the oil from the water, how would you do it? It is this white powder. Watch what it does. When you sprinkle it on like this, the polymer, the long chain of molecules, hooks on to the oil absorbs the oil so that you can pick up the oil and take it back on land. Believe it or not, look at this. It's safe, it's non-toxic. Look at this. You can even burn the oil and extract the energy. I want you to share in the comments of ways you could distribute that kind of polymer in a huge oil spill. Next, protect the house.
All good? All right, come. Look at this. Out in the desert. This is crazy. This was recorded on this year, didn't it? This uh, burning man. This is exactly what the media is hiding. It's crazy to think that we actually have these lasers that can pinpoint and set fires to things with these. That is a shadow on the sky. Is that even possible? Look at, look at that fucking devil, evil face, man. He's, he's coming over, fight like he's got doom and loom over fucking Leveland. Guys, this is real. What? It's straight from a horror movie. It is? No, I'm just saying it looks like one. This is not normal. I've never seen nothing like this, ever. I'm 38 years old and I've never seen nothing like this. This is not made by Mother Nature. No, and this is how you know simulation is broke. Look, the sun is over there. No clouds, no clouds, no clouds. This cloud over there. But where's the shadow for this cloud coming from if the sun is behind me? Uh, the moon affects our emotional nature. It affects an area that's very important for black males particularly to understand during this period. It affects the unconscious level of our psyches, of the subconscious, where the dark levels and layers of thought rest dormant. That's what this planet activates in the danger field. It also activates, of course, dreams, our passions. And when you say passions, you don't just mean romance. You also mean anger and aggression. You also mean fear, hatred. The, the, the moon activates those. One of the big indicators of that is the fact that during the full moon cycle, which only lasts two and a half days, if you're living in the inner city, you hear the result of the moon. The, the sirens go off like door buzzers. The police is chasing somebody every five minutes. That's the kind of energy response we tend to get in our world. Moodiness, uncalled for anger and despondency is also another problem that doesn't mean the moon is negative. That means the person who responds that way is on that kind of emotional slant. And all something doing, the energy of the moon is doing is punching the buttons. So if you keep your spiritual consciousness, emotional level up, then you get a benevolent feeling from the moon. You, you get a harmonious feeling from the moon. You get a smoother feeling from the moon. W women during the, their cycle get ate up by the moon w with their PMS stuff, you know. And, and what the yogis are saying is that because their, their blood is charged with too much uh, physical flush, big meat eaters, when women who become vegetarians clear most of the fatty substances out of their blood, they only spot a little bit for a day or two and then it's over. You know, the average American, particularly female, he, he eats probably a cow a week. You know, with the hamburgers, the Burger Kings and the McDonald's, man, you know. You know, of course half that stuff is something else. We're, we're eating too much meat and we're not in the er era of lusting after the flush. Okay, that, that isn't where we are. But we've learned how to eat meat. 
You know, for most folks feel like they're starving to death and, and got a big old ham hock on, on the stove or on the plate. They feel like they ain't had no dinner, you know? That, that's training. It's been handed forward, handed forward, handed forward. Okay, I, I didn't intend to dwell on it too much, but sustainer of life, the maintenance of things is maintained by your emotional pool. If your emotions are erratic, 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 you can find yourself moving, 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 moving. Getting a job, quitting a job. Moving here, moving out. Getting a sister, quitting a sister, <laughs> okay? If your emotions are like that, that's what you're gonna be doing. If you wonder why. That doesn't mean you're consciously doing it. You're being stimulated by the energy that causes moving, motion. Activi activity, activate it. You know, if you don't have plans, perspectives in your consciousness, in your subconsciousness, then you're going to be batted around like a hockey puck. You know, and, and we see it every day. We see brothers sitting around on the steps and laying on the ground. You know, you know, when, when, when they get enough sleep, then they wake up and they walk from there to the next place and sit down. You know, that, that those are pawns. You know, that, that those are not even conscious human beings. You know, when you wake up, up here, your inner voice tells you, go over to see so-and-so and tell him what you need. I mean, it can begin there. Man, brother, I need a job. Oh, man, this dude just called me about a job. You know, poverty's over for that brother who just for a second took his own inner advice. And his world changes from one hour to the next. You see? That's consciousness. That's self-awareness. Okay? And, and it's important to, to, to know so you don't feel like God and the universe and everybody's against you when you go in one of them dips. Because you're going into some dips because that's the roller coaster ride we're all on. Ain't nobody going straight up. Okay? We're on a roller coaster. And if you've got to have something to go down with so you want to come back up. Everybody gets challenged, okay? The universe requires that you pay taxes for having that body, okay? And you're going to pay them, you know, no matter how intelligent you think you are, how good you think you are, you're going to pay some taxes, some dues down here, because that's where you are. Okay? We're between the law of duality. All oh, the chasing like it's fighting. <laughs> well, they just busted the. the They're not going to do that to my bathroom, are they? No. They're not going to do that to either bathroom, are they? Oh, please don't come down into the house. I'm going to show you guys three very strange videos coming in from Venezuela of people who were recording a thunderstorm and accidentally caught what looks like a shadow figure descending very quickly from the sky. This is really strange. This is video number one. Did you see that? People at first thought it was a raindrop, but you can clearly see it goes behind the building. What the heck is that? Here is video number two. Pay very close attention. Did you see it? Let me zoom in a little bit for you to see it better. Did you see it now? Well, let's zoom in and slow-mo the video. You can clearly see one object there, two objects. What is that, guys? And now here is video number three. Hey, what? Man, look at this good vibes. Human here just having fun in some incredibly interesting ways. Man, oh, this one should be on the Olympics. You see, look at this. This is incredible. You see, humans are just wonderful, my friends. You see, and when you just see humans having some good time, feeling nice, it's just awesome. Yo, can you do that yourself, my friend? Oh my god, dude. You can see.
see it. Twenty-seven years ago today, September first, nineteen ninety-seven, I had my last drink of alcohol. I remember clear as day. I was watching the Green Bay Packer Monday Night Football game against the Chicago Bears at the Cal Neva Casino in downtown Reno, Nevada. And I was drinking like I always did. When the game ended, I went home, went to sleep. When I woke up the next morning, I had a hangover. Back then, I used to get a lot of hangovers. And this one was pretty bad. I was really sick. And I started to think, you know, I got to get my footing. I got to stop drinking for a few days and just get my head straight. And that was the plan, not to stop drinking forever, just for a little while so I would start physically feeling better. Well, a couple days later, I ran into my oldest brother at the Circus Circus Casino. And as a joke, I said to him, I stopped drinking, I'm on day four of 400. And he laughed. He laughed right in my face and he said, you'll never do it, you can never stop. And I didn't really respond to him, but I thought, you know, that's a real jerk thing to say. Although my brother always had jerk things to say. So right there on the spot in the Circus Circus Casino, I decided I'm going to see how long I can go without drinking alcohol. And I haven't had a drink since then. The last drink I had was on September 1st, 1997. The motivation that started me on this path was because of what my brother said. My motivation was spite. And if I wouldn't have stopped drinking, I would have never met my ex-wife. I would have never got married. I would have never had my son. And my life, I guarantee you, would have been terrible. Now I'm not saying to anybody else if they drink they should stop drinking. That's not what this video is about. This video is about me and how my life got better. And everything that happened since then has taken me on a journey that's made my life better than I ever had imagined it could be. I just wanted to share this with everybody. Shabadoo Booshkies! Shabadoo! Okay. Here's what it looks like out here today. And I'm back up. And you can see I'm looking through the glass, but I'm looking at an angle, so... You might think, oh, it's the glass, but it's not. And watch, wait, wait until you see this. I should be using a tripod. Now, if that was a reflection, there wouldn't be clouds in front of the second sun. So, if you go to the Nibiru sunset, dot wordpress.com you can see a lot more amazing videos that I've done showing that we definitely have two suns in the, in the sky now let's see if we can spot that second sun in the reflection now that would be amazing oh that's why we couldn't see it and I think I should go get a tripod so I'm gonna end this video right now and go get my tripod while the clouds are behind if that second sun is behind those clouds and I'll zoom in to show you see you see reflection from the window right now no you don't if there was a reflection you would see it so there's no reflection because that second object went behind those clouds so this is really bizarre and I've done videos where it's uh, I, I would think that this object here is in the clouds oh look the other one's coming through again so, I really got to get my tripod.
why is this not being talked about, y'all? Now, y'all know they've been finding some crazy shit lately around the world. And they're also finding giant people, yo. Like, that's a giant mummy. So, basically, on the left side, this is like a sculpture, a new sculpture that was, like, found underneath the ground, yo. And then on the other side, these are mummies that they just recently found, yo. Now, what does that look like right there to y'all? Look at the bottom one. And no, this is not AI generated. Now, let me tell y'all one thing. Every single video or picture that you see is not always AI generated, yo. Now, I need y'all to wake up because if y'all start thinking that everything is AI generated, then you're automatically lost forever. Think about what I'm saying, yo. Now, mind you, I know there's a lot of AI content and all that and everything, you feel me? But not everything. There's a lot of mysteries, y'all, that's being uncovered around the world right now. And it's time for y'all to wake up! The scariest things ever caught on camera. Oh, what? Did you see that? Some children were out there playing when they came across a mysterious stuff there, or creature. Oh, what could that have been? My God. Look at this. And clearly, after being checked out, there was nothing there. But you have just seen something. Oh my god, and that dog, my friend, is required to have some driving classes. Hmm. What? Why would the dog do this? The cat? What? Oh, it's like the cat just saw something towards the window. Look, and it's looking scared. Oh my god, or frightened. This is crazy. Oh my god. Hi, it's like there is something inside there. Oh. Look at this. Hi, what could that have been? Crazy stuff that's always been happening in the sky. At night fast. This is unbelievable. My friend, you are crossed. Yeah? Oh, excellent. So for those of you wondering what anti-dazzle is, so you see this car coming behind us, it's got its bright lights on, making it hard for us to see. But then when you flick the switch, we can still see the car, but it's not as bright and it's not blinding us anymore. That's what anti-dazzle does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa! Ah! <laughs> what the? What the hell? What? the hell have i just seen <gasps> what the only attribute about god that was mentioned three times check this out only one time in scripture is an attribute of god emphasized by this principle of repetition not to the second degree but raised to the third degree the seraphim do not sing that god is holy holy but the seraphims declare that God is holy, holy, holy. The Bible doesn't say that God is love, love, love. Or mercy, mercy, mercy. Or wise, wise, wise. Or just, just, just. Or wrath, wrath, wrath. But the Bible does say that God is holy, holy, holy. By no merit of our own, we are sinners and we are going to stand before a holy God. The only way to do that is through his son, Jesus Christ. My question is, God with his foreknowledge knows that, that he knew that the devil was going to be a devil. Lucifer was going to be a devil. So why create something that you know that that thing is going to morph itself to something else? No. The Bible says in reference to the devil in the fall, until evil was found in him. But God knew that evil would be found in him. Oh, That's what I'm saying. He not, he I just ask you if God thinks, he does, he does he, he have a brain? He, he did not provision. So there are things that God does not know? Not necessarily. Okay, you're starting again, not necessarily. Listen to me, you see what is discussing systematic theology now at the highest level. Yeah. We're dealing with the mind of God. In fact, 
and, and, and discuss this after the show, this, this, because it's a joke, but it's a true joke. But you know what? I'm but glad you are engaging this subject because this, the street theologians are discussing this. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, yeah, discussing, this. discussing this. And people, and these are the things people are peddling. Congregants yes, also, yes. Uh, they are scared to ask this kind of no, questions, no, right? They are scared to I ask. I think this. that's the questions okay. they are giving. Okay, yeah. so. so